miserable word asks in the Excel subreddit, find the value line, how to find the line of a target word. And then he gives us a screenshot of how it should look like. And so <clears throat> I've brought a screenshot into my Excel. And so as you can see, we have some names and what we want to do is create a list of these names and then also indicate at which row each um, name occurs. So how to do this is first we need to create a list of these names and we can do this with the to call function. Now what the to call function does is, is we supply an array to the to call function and it will return this array in one column. So we select the entire range of the data as the array and we press enter and there we have our names. Now one issue here is that zeros are returned wherever there was an empty space uh, in our array. So we need to get rid of that and we can do this with a filter function. So a filter function takes in an array and then we can apply certain filters to filter uh, to only keep those values that match the filter. And so the filter we're looking for is, well, this to call uh, function will take it again and the results of that should not be equal to zero. So not equal to, you can do with a less than and bigger than sign. I close the parentheses and press enter. And as you can see, we get a list of all of the names, the unique names that appear in our earlier range. So now comes the harder part. That's where we actually need to define or find at which um, row each name appears. So Anna, Julius and Roland should get a two. Uh, David and Nacho should get a three and Lily should get a four. Okay, so how to do this is to once again convert our range to a column. So we use the to call function once again. We select the entire range and we get the same column. Now, in this case, we are going to match each uh, instance of these names to this list of the to call function. Now, in this case, it is very important that we do not get rid of the zeros because this time we are really interested in the position. So the first three are in the first row, next three are in the second row, and the last three are in the third row. So in this case, the, these zeros are actually really important. Now to match these names to this list, we will use a match function. Now what a match function does, it is it takes in a lookup value. In this case, it is whatever was re returned here um, from the function that gives us the list of names. So it will take each name. And then we're matching this to the lookup array. So that's this longer list. And what it will return is the position of each of these names in the longer list. Now we need to specify that we're looking for an exact match. So the third argument is a zero. So if you now press enter, you can see that for each name, we get the position in the longer list. So one, two, three, four, six, and nine. Now, since this range has three columns, that means that we need to divide these values by three. So let's do that. So we simply divide it by three as such. Looks much better, um, but all that's left to do now is we actually need to round this up. So this needs to be one, this needs to be two, this needs to be three. So we simply wrap this in a round up function and the number of digits we specify should be zero because we want a digit and press enter. And as you can see, now we have the names of the people and then we have the position or the row at which their name occurred.